Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan and I'm an online reseller. That means I go to places like garage sales and thrift stores looking for items that I can flip online for a profit. Now my wife and I just got back from Kentucky and unfortunately I kind of forgot to film an introduction while I was there. So let's make it a little more Kentucky in here. That's better. But yeah, we hit up 400 miles of yard sales to stretch down Highway 68 through Kentucky and we found a lot of cool stuff to sell online for a profit. But what's even cooler is the people that we met. We met some awesome people along the way. Check it out. How much are your boots? 50. How much are your jacket? Uh, he wants a hundred on them, but I'll sell them to you. He's not here. <laughs> I'd insult you if I threw a price at you. <laughs> I said I would insult you if I gave you a price. <laughs> Fifty. I'd be at like thirty, so I don't want to. <laughs> I said I'd be at like thirty. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Which one? I'd do both of them. I'll do it. You sure? I'll do it. I want to get you in trouble. He won't never know. <laughs> He's not here. He's at work. Gotcha. What are you going to do? Just sit in the closet? What's that? You're just going to sit in the closet. Basically. Yeah. There you go. If you fish, he's got a lot of fishing rods over there. I don't. That's one thing I, I don't need. Kind of like tools. I got a hundred of them and don't ever have time to use them. I love to fish. I do, I do too. I just can't find the time. I know. That's the problem. I've been catching crappie lately. Really? And I don't like to eat fish. Yeah. But it's a lot of fish and I can eat it. Yeah. It yeah. don't have that fishy smell taste or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's just really good. Just to eat fry them. Yeah, I was about to say, you fry them and get the right breading on there. You, That's good eating. Louisiana makes a good breading. Yeah. In a box. Right. Um, it's crispy. Cajun style, okay. it's got a little spice to it. Yeah. And wow, it's delicious. I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> I'll definitely be able to look out. I'm going to leave your hangers up here. You can keep the hangers if you want them. Uh, I'm going to fold them up when I get in the car. So I'll leave you, I'll leave you the hangers. You can reuse them. The I'm good. I'll tell totally them just like that. I appreciate it. Morning. Morning. Y'all out off early? Always. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Not much. Oh, 40 <laughs> Old. Old. Mm -hmm. What's that? Y'all come a long way. <laughs> we did. So we're actually going to a uh, music festival in Lexington. Oh. So we decided to come a day early and stay in Bowling Green and drive to down 68 for the yard sale. You gonna take 60 way out, up all the way to up around Perryville and then go into Lexington? I assume so. We just followed 68. I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> You're about 135 miles away from Lexington. That's what I knew. It was a long way. Just be careful when you go up 68, maybe it's a crooked road. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, you'll go through some neat little towns. That's kind of, we've 
we figured the ride would be be worth the fun. What town is this? Uh, this is one place called Marriott, and then you'll go all the way up, go through Glasgow, and then it'll take you all up to Edmonton. Then from Edmonton, you go to Campbellsville, Lebanon. That's all of it. And then you go through Perryville and Perrysburg. Perrysburg is in Perryville, so it's called the town. Civil War, they got a Civil War battlefield there. All right, this is not something you see the yard sale every day. There's something tough going on. That's awesome. I'll trade y'all that for you. I some plate. I don't have yeah. a South Carolina. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't think that'd be too good when we got home. I think I'm ready, actually, if you want to add me up. You can add me up. I think we're ready. And there was two posters in here. I don't want to cheat you. Yeah, there is. I rolled them up. Yeah. It's a dollar for all of us. Uh, one, two, three, four. No doubt. All right. We'll be here next year. Next year. All right. We're here every year. Now, what would you do if, what would you do if I showed up with one? I'd buy it off of it. <laughs> you could sell me uh, something. I could probably find you one to give. But everything here we got goes to the church. Uh, this is all for him to take care of the mowing and the cemetery and the church. We do it every year. To be honest with you, how many years has the yard been going? A long time. How long y'all been doing this? We've been doing this one for upwards of 30 years. Oh wow. But wow. it just start, accidentally coincided, started coinciding with the 400 mile yard sale. So. Well, that's uh, good. Brings you more traffic. Yeah, it does. Oh, it, it helped it us really tremendously. Helps. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there's a oh, huge okay. Amish community. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. It's $8 total. $8. Yeah. yeah that's all right. Furniture, sale produce. <laughs> They do everything. Thank you so Thank much. You. If you need them to uh, build something, they'll build it for you.
How much is your game? I get a dollar on it. Right. Fair to you. That does. I get a dollar. Well, how much is that one? You got ten on there. Oh, okay, okay. You think it's fair? I'll take five for that, and then for that. That'd be great. I was gonna ask you for a little bit off. That'll work. Perfect. It's up to you. Ma'am, what'd you do in all these? Oh, oh, box. Yep, and these two. We do uh, six dollars on them all. Sure. And the whole box. And yeah. Whatever, yeah. You know. I do ten. That's. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think that's. Can I keep? Can I keep the box or you want it? All right. No, keep the box. I have not. You What's your best you can do if you add these to my pile here? Get 10 a piece on those. 
What is it? How much do you know? And of course my GoPro died, but I ended up paying $10 for both the torque wrench and the center caps. You guys saw the comps. I should do pretty well on those. Also, I've got a bunch of these things. These are really old distributor caps from cars from like the 40s or 50s. And most of the ones I've looked up, I've looked up five or six so far, they sell for around $20 or $30 a piece. They're going to be slow sellers, but I think it was worth it. There are some worth hundreds. Hopefully, I'll find one of those in my box. That would definitely make it all worth it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe because there's definitely more garage sale videos coming up. We'll see you next time.